Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about smart pens, and in particular, the LiveScribe 3. Now, for a long time, I've been looking for a way of sort of digitizing my notes that I use for the Geekanoids channel, and that's things like scheduling, my editing, and also my day-to-day -day tasks that I do. Primarily for my video recording, I currently use a Moleskine book, and I'm manually writing each video that I'm going to actually produce. And then I use little tick boxes to tick off when I've recorded the video, when I've edited the video, and then when I've uploaded it. And I've tried lots of different ways of getting that into the digital format, but I've always failed. Uh, it hasn't worked quite as I anticipated. So I was really interested when Livescribe sent me the Livescribe 3 to actually see if I could integrate this into my workflow. Now, this is a smart pen. I've got two different versions here. I've got the Livescribe 3 Black Edition, and I've also got the Livescribe 3 Moleskine Edition. Uh, they're both primarily the same pen, the same technology, the same application, and the same sort of workflow. This one is just packaged a little bit differently, and I was super excited when I was asked to take a look at these by Livescribe, because I use Moleskine notebooks. They're really well made, and I like the fact that we've now got something that works with the Livescribe 3 Smart Pen. This is what the box looks like. And inside this particular edition, you get the pen itself. So this is the Livescribe 3 Moleskine edition. I'll give you some close-ups of this as well. And it consists of quite a sort of large, thick pen. It's got a micro USB port on the top so that you can actually charge the device. It's also got some LED feedback on the little pen clip. It's got a normal sort of biro, uh, sort of ballpoint pen uh, refill in it. And then it's got some optics hidden away up inside the pen. And this works with paper with tiny little dots printed over it so that it can track what you're drawing or what you're writing. Also in the Moleskine package, we get uh, this, which can go around your Moleskine book. And it gives you a little pouch on the front, a little zipper sort of case to keep uh, pens and accessories in. And we also get a basics guide, which is going to get you up and running. And we get the Livescribe Moleskine notebook. So this is a hard covered notebook. The, the quality of this paper in here is as you would expect from Moleskine. It's just got that very fine printed dot. I think there's 240 pages of acid-free paper in here. So really nice sort of uh, what, uh, writing uh, book here to keep your notes on. And the beauty of using something like this in conjunction with the Livescribe 3 pen is as you're writing, uh, this can be connected via Bluetooth to like a tablet or a smartphone. That can be something running iOS or something from Apple or a Google Android operating system as well. So we've got lots of choices as to what devices we can use this with. And as we're writing or drawing, this transfers across to the device that it's synchronizing with. So it's got a really nice way of getting your sort of analog writing into a digital format. And you can even take things one step further as well, or in fact, two steps further. The first way is you can actually have the convert what you're writing into text. So that's really nice. And the second thing is it also integrates really well with Evernote. And I've used Evernote for many years. In fact, inside the package, uh, you do get, so inside the box, you get like a card and you get a one year subscription to Evernote Premium. So that's really cool as well. And that allows you to sort of synchronize your note taking with your device, that could be a smartphone or tablet, and then Evernote would then synchronize that with other computers, that could be a laptop or a desktop computer, so that you've got your notes available across all of the platforms that you use. So let's talk to you a little bit about the sort of hardware quality. Now, for the most part, it's really nice. The only downside I've found is if I shake that, it's just got a rattle and it's purely the ballpoint refill just rattling about in the pen. I wish that had been dampened a little bit because it's a very high quality pen, a really lovely device, really nicely made. I, I love the overall feel and look of, it, of the pen, but I don't like the rattle, so that's, that's sort of the negative point. The battery life's fine, the clip's fine, the actual smoothness of the writing's fine, 
The integration with the application is also very good indeed. And I can go back to a page in my notebook and tick off what I've done and then update that across to the application and it updates accordingly. So whereas before I was struggling with getting my sort of manual note taking into the digital world, this sort of works a little bit better. I still find it hard that I wish I could integrate sort of tick boxes with my notes that I could then tick easily without having to go through all the rigmarole of having it optically recognize the characters and translate it into text. It's all a little bit fiddly, so still not 100% workable for someone like me who needs to update those notes, i.e. my video schedules. Now, I've also got access to uh, medical world, sort of medical and healthcare, and I got somebody to have a look at this to see if it was gonna be workable for taking their notes within a medical environment. And for the most part, it was. It recognized handwriting very well. It was great that you could digitize the notes across to your device and access those easily at the end of the day. But there was two problems that we sort of discovered using it in that environment. Firstly, keeping the pen clean. If you're using this in an environment where, unfortunately, germs are present and you need to actually disinfect something at the end of the day, you can't sort of cook this. You can't completely get rid of all the germs as you would on uh, maybe something that's made specifically for the health industry. So you ended up having to just wipe it down, which was fine, you know, it's not too bad. You're not gonna be using this inside an operating theater, for example. So for note taking, when you're seeing patients, absolutely fine. But the other problem is that we live within this sort of world where people who work in the medical industry take their notes via dictation. It's a tried and tested method that they're using and then they give their notes to the secretary to actually write those up or type those up at the end of the day. This almost could replace the need for that, but not entirely, because notes need to be taken very quickly and the way that surgeons and consultants think mean that they have this way of talking their notes through to the dictation system and for a consultant to have to sit there and listen to a patient and have to write their notes either during the consultation or afterwards and then have that translated digitally into an app and then have that synchronized with something else and then have the secretary go in and edit it so that it was accurate it's going to take a lot longer than actually using a dictation system so again i don't think it fits into that environment perfectly it certainly has got its place though. If you're a student and you're making notes and you wanna translate those across into a digital format, something like this is absolutely ideal. It is very, very well made. And for that use case scenario, I would say it's almost perfect because you're getting the written format of the notes that you've taken during a lecture. You're also getting a digital format and it's got a whole lot more features besides. In fact, one of the really useful things in a lecture environment or a meeting is that whilst you're taking notes, you can actually have the audio recorded on your smart device so that you've got that vocal prompt when you're reviewing things back as to what was actually happening in the lecture or meeting. So it's got a lot of nice features. And as I say, apart from the little rattle, it's extremely well made and an extremely well executed smart pen. I think that something like this with a few more refinements maybe just uh, something a little bit slimmer uh, would be a real winner and it certainly has got its place in my arsenal of technology. I'm going to find this very useful using this going forwards for making notes for my business and for the Geek and Noise channel. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video very soon.